We are on the eve of President Trump's 100th day in office. It's been an extraordinary journey for the president, albeit an often rocky road, as he's tried to make good on an ambitious array of bold campaign promises. Tonight, we ask if the president is more talk than action, or is it just too soon to tell? Here's ABC's David Wright on Trump's first 100 days. The 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Making America great again might take a little longer than Donald Trump expected. Like I promised, we are doing a really top job already. 99 days. 99 days and still so much to get done. Build the wall. We'll build the wall. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. In fairness, everybody already knew Washington wouldn't change overnight, except for President Trump, it seems. I am asking the American people to dream big once again. What follows is my 100-day action plan to make America great again. Back in October, he set the standard with his Gettysburg Address, an ambitious outline of his plan to transform the federal government. We will drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. And he promised he'd get it done in 100 days. This is my pledge to you. And if we follow these steps, we will once more have a government of, by, and for the people. As that milestone started to loom, he did start to question the game altogether, tweeting that it was a ridiculous standard. But after a mad dash week of signing executive orders, he said today... It's a false standard, 100 days, but I have to tell you, I don't think anybody has done what we've been able to do in 100 days. So we're very happy. Have a good time. Thank you. And then the president told Fox News his frustration lies with the pace of the legislative process. He has yet to pass a major bill through Congress. I'm disappointed that it doesn't go quicker. It does seem like running the government is not as easy as running a business, right. if running a business is easy. Donald Trump ran a business, but it was a family business. What he did was work with people that he knew and often was related to, to make deals. That's very different from having to worry about nuclear weapons in North Korea or complicated legislation in Congress. How's he doing? Well, on Capitol Hill, I think he's doing a pretty good job. ABC's Mary Bruce finds that depends who you ask. If one looks at what he promised to do in the course of a campaign, it's pretty much a dumpster fire. That's a Democrat. Now listen to a Republican. How would you grade what you've seen so far? I give him an A. Trump, to his credit, is turning things around. He's making business exciting again. Capitalism is a good thing. You get a rate reduction, wage rates go up, everyone's happy again, and we're in nirvana. Either it's a dumpster fire or it's nirvana. That pretty much sums up how polarizing these first hundred days have been. Has Washington figured out Donald Trump no. yet? Donald Trump remains a mystery uh, to not just Washington, I think to the country. A lot of voters think that they know who he is and continue to love the fact that he's not a Washington person. Today, the National Rifle Association gave him a warm reception in Atlanta. Only one candidate in the general election came to speak to you, and that candidate is now the President of the United States standing before you again. He's the first president to be here since Ronald Reagan in 1983. This is his base. He told this crowd that they have a friend in the White House, and they are friends of his in here. I will tell you, I spoke to a lot of supporters in this room. Unanimous approval for this president. They give him an A-plus grade for his first 100 days, and they are looking to more from him. As your president, I will never, ever infringe on the right of the people to keep and bear arms, never ever. Freedom is not a gift from government. Freedom is a gift from God. Day 99 winding down now. That's the president just getting back from his NRA speech in Atlanta. It's fair to say that in 100 days, he has single-handedly changed the tone here in Washington, but in terms of actual accomplishments,
fulfilling the campaign promises. He's got a lot of work to do. Most of the heavy lifting he's done by executive order. Trump has signed 30 of them in these first 100 days, some of them tied up in court. So still in progress. The temporary travel ban on several predominantly Muslim countries and the push to cut federal funding from so-called sanctuary cities, the ones that refuse to summarily deport illegal immigrants. At this point in his presidency, Barack Obama had signed 15 bills into law. Trump, 29. But Trump's big ticket item, health care reform, was never even brought to a vote. We came really close today, but we came up short. I spoke to the president just a little while ago, and I told him that the best thing I think to do is to pull this bill, and he agreed with that decision. Trump's budget is still being revised, forcing the Congress today to pass a one-week stopgap measure in order to prevent the government shutdown. Trump's biggest legislative accomplishment so far? I, Neil M. Gorsuch, do solemnly swear. Was the Senate vote to confirm his nominee to fill the ninth seat on the U.S. Supreme Court. Congratulations. Senate Republicans had to invoke the so-called nuclear option, changing the rules in order to overcome the objections of Democrats. And I got it done in the first 100 days. That's even nice. That one key appointment counts as a success, but the administration has yet to fill many of the mid-level management jobs that would carry out Trump's vision. Has he accomplished more or less than the average president in 100 days? I think that if you measure it by legislative accomplishments, he's clearly uh, accomplished less. If you measure it by filling the government, he's accomplished less. If you uh, measure it by fulfilling his campaign promises, He's accomplished less. This weekend, as the White House press corps gathers for its annual black tie dinner, the president is bucking tradition and skipping town. He'll hold a campaign rally in Harrisburg instead. Clearly, Trump is hoping for a split screen moment. The media he rails against, living it up, the president out amongst the people. I'm David Wright for Nightline at the White House.